Let's go to Dan. Dan, welcome to Bobby Likas Car Clinic. Thank you, Bobby. Uh, I've got two quick questions on a 96 Lincoln Mark 8. Okay. I have a, a friend of mine who's a backyard mechanic. Had him uh, do a little tune-up. I uh, just hit 100,000 miles, so I changed the plugs and the wires. And when I got it back now, I, I, I'm guessing he disconnected the battery because all of some of the pre-programmed radio okay. gauges and stuff no, were out. I'm sure. Uh, so anyway, um, my, my it's got a little computer gives you your readout mileage, and it's dropped off severely from about, this is in town, about 20 miles per gallon to about 15 now. How many tanks have you run of gas run through it so far? Uh, probably Couple? about three or four. Three or four. So you're satisfied that that's what you're getting. Oh, yeah, because this computer, you know, it's, it's got a, little computer that gives you an instant readout. Right, right. And it's, now the car runs great. Uh, I, you know, I would have never guessed it except for that computer <laughs> telling me I'm getting 15 miles per gallon. You know, Dan, it has been my experience. This is not the first time I've heard this. It has been my experience that uh, new spark plugs uh, can sometimes reduce MPG. And I, I think that's the only time I've ever made that statement on air I've never heard anyone in my industry make that statement, but this has happened to me on some of my customers' cars, uh, and uh, for for a long time, I I was really concerned because uh, people don't check gas mileage religiously. Historically, people mm -hmm. do not check gas mileage except after they get their car serviced, and then they. Now, I'm not saying that, that this is you, but this is the typical. Uh -huh. No one checks their gas mileage, or very few people. Then they, ch they have a car service, they spend money on it, so they check their gas mileage, and, oh, it's, it's not getting the number that I remember it getting. People will buy a new car, for instance, and, and they'll get check gas mileage, and if it's really great, or they think, even if they made a mistake on one tank of gas, because you can't check miles with one tank of fuel, even if, so if it turned out great, they put that figure in their mind, and they keep it forever. And then 30,000 miles later, or 60,000 miles later, they get the car tuned up, and they, they say, well, oh, I used to get 28, 28 miles a gallon. I got one time uh -huh. in this car. And then, and then they get 22, and they say, oh, I got a problem here since you, since, since you tuned it. Now, that's not the case with you. No, because I've got <clears> a, a readout. And, uh... Exactly. And, and also, are you using high-octane or low-octane fuel? I uh, it requires high octane. Okay. Uh, here's what I want you to do this week. Okay. How much gas is in the tank? Uh, probably uh, half. Okay. Well, run it down to a quarter or less. Uh-huh. And then fill it up with low octane. Fill it? Yeah. Fill it. Okay. Fill it. Okay. With low octane. Okay. Drive it normally. Not, not not aggressively, just normally. Uh -huh. If you're if you're in the gas mileage mode, you can't be driving aggressively anyway. No, I'm not. Uh -huh. I mean, or else that we don't need this conversation. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> so I want you to do that, and okay. and if you can make this, if you can use a tank of fuel in one week, I want you to call me next week and tell me what happened. Okay. Up. And we'll, we'll see. You, you're going to get a surprise. All right. Okay, my friend. Yeah, thank you, Bobby. You're welcome. Lisa, welcome to Bobby Lycus Car Clinic. Hi, Bobby. Hi. I'm calling on a follow-up to um, Dan had called about his 96 Lincoln. Right. And not getting the, uh, the good gas mileage. Yeah, he just had a tune-up performed, and uh, that was really all that they did, at least all that he shared with us, was the fact they put plugs and, and, uh, in, uh, and I guess, filters and, and what have you. Uh, why, have you had some uh, challenges, or have you had a similar experience? Well, well he's my boyfriend. <laughs> and I took his Lincoln out. The reason why I'm asking about this is because you had told him to put a lower grade gas in there. I did. I, I had taken his Lincoln out, and I had filled it up with mid grade gas. Okay. Well, he just had a fit, and he <laughs> said, "Oh, I'm going to have to go push it out. I'm going to have to take it back to the dealer." I mean, That's I just felt hilarious. like I thought I ruined. The, his car. That's he, hilarious. So I said, oh, because Bobby Lakey said this, it makes it okay. But well, I told, him, I, I told him to put the low grade in there, so <laughs> now he's really going to think you and I are on some uh, uh, tangent here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so well, my question basically is, putting in a different grade, a lower grade gas, is not going to ruin a car, is that? Absolutely not. In fact, uh, now, now, if we had the same car and we were drag racing, that means that we were asking the engine to perform at its maximum horsepower 
under wide open throttle. That's called W-O-T, wide open throttle. Then we would use the high octane so that the computer would tune the engine to maximize performance. But if we were conservative drivers, which is how you drive when you're trying to increase MPG, then the engine never needs the high octane fuel because it never is under the stress and strain of wide open throttle. What he's going to see when he fills up with the lower octane fuel, he's going to see the gas mileage start to come back up. And really what we're doing is we're just allowing the computer time to reset itself and to refamiliarize itself with the new plugs and the new voltage and, and the fact that it was, it was disconnected. So time is going to heal this, and the lower octane will make it heal much more quickly than the higher octane. I know it. I've done it. And it works. So uh, you go. I don't know. I don't. I, I do know where you heard that from me. So yeah. hey, we're on the same page. Yeah. And, and hey, Dan, if you're out there listening, Bobby <laughs> Lyka said so. But don't worry about and, it. And Dan, if you're out there listening, Lisa said so. And Lisa has more <laughs> say so than Bobby Lyka. That's for sure. <laughs>